Hello my dear students, welcome back to our basic science class. You know this is our third basic science class. So let us start the class today by recalling the lessons we learned in the last classes. First point, photosynthesis. In plants, preparation of food takes place in leaves. This process is known as photosynthesis. Once again, what is photosynthesis? In plants, preparation of food takes place in leaves. This process is known as photosynthesis. Second point, what is autotrophs? Plants prepare their own food. So, they are called autotrophs. Once again, what is autotrophs? Plants prepare their own food. So, they are called autotrophs. Third point, chlorophyll. It is a green color pigment present in plants. It absorbs sunlight needed for photosynthesis. Once again, it is a green pigment present in plants. It absorbs sunlight needed for photosynthesis. Fourth point, it is the equation of photosynthesis. That is carbon dioxide plus water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. They prepare glucose plus oxygen. Oxygen is released during daytime. Once again, carbon dioxide plus water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. They prepare glucose plus oxygen. Fifth point, stomata. In plants, gaseous exchange takes place through small pores in the leaves. These pores are called stomata. Once again, what is stomata? In plants, gaseous exchange takes place through small pores in the leaves. These pores are called stomata. Okay. Did you all write these notes in your notebook that the teacher gave in last class? I think his answer is yes. Did everyone learn all of this in your rough book? Hope you all have done that. Okay, now let us start our today's topic. We have already seen that photosynthesis takes place in leaves of a plant. Observe the plants around you. On which part of the plant does the sunlight fall more? Yes, of course, its answer is leaves. Different plants have different pattern of arrangement of its leaves. This type of arrangement of leaves on stem or a branch is called a phyllotaxy. It aims to position the leaves such that they can receive the maximum sunlight. While we know that sunlight is necessary for the process of photosynthesis. There are mainly three types of phyllotaxy. Opposite phyllotaxy, alternate phyllotaxy and world phyllotaxy. In opposite phyllotaxy, there are two leaves on one node arranged opposite to each other. Dear students, you can see these type of phyllotaxy in Calotropis and Guava. Next, in alternate phyllotaxy, only one leaf arises at each node and the leaf at the next node is in the opposite direction. This type of arrangement of leaves is commonly seen in hibiscus and sunflower plants. Finally, in world phyllotaxy, two or more leaves appear at a node forming a hole as in Alstonia, commonly called Edilambala. So, my dear students, now you know how each plant gets maximum sunlight, right? Yes, we have already seen that chlorophyll, the green color pigment seen in the leaves, help the plant to trap sunlight needed for photosynthesis. Are all leaves green in color? Haven't you seen the red amaranthus? Does photosynthesis take place in them? Is there chlorophyll in red amaranthus to perform photosynthesis? Let us do one experiment. For this, we need some leaves of red amaranthus and blotting paper. When you buy neem slip, you also get a bloating paper. Now, I am going to rub this red amaranthus leaf on this bloating paper. Let us focus on the color of the paper in a short time. 
you can see a light green color in it this shows that chlorophyll is present in red amaranthus too but it appears in red color because in the upper surface of the leaf the red colored pigment are arranged more than green color pigment my dear students you must write this experiment note in your notebook to write any experiment note we must write five steps first step is a here we want to write our question second point materials required here we want to write what are the things we need for this experiment third point procedure here you must write the method of this experiment fourth point observation what we have seen in this experiment is our observation fifth and the last point must be inference here we must write our finding is the result of our experiment i have already prepared one experiment note for you today i will send this with your notes copy that on your notebook okay now students you realize that red amaranthus has chlorophyll then what could be the reason for its red color besides chlorophyll other pigments are also present in plants hence leaves with the pigment xanthophyll appear yellow in color those with the carotin appear yellowish orange and those with the anthocyanin appear red in color another question are pigments present only in leaves no pigments are present in different parts of plants you have seen many colorful flowers fruits and vegetables right example sunflower orange carrot etc so we can conclude that pigments give color to leaves stems flowers and fruits so my dear students let us summarize what we have learned today as phyllotaxy experiment to show red amaranthus contain chlorophyll different color pigments in plants my dear children i will send today's note after this class please copy that note only in your notebook thank you